Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these other things, if you are, where if you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel. I'm Bushkin. Today, I want to talk about the DBS. I want to talk about and outline why I think it really is just way too strong in its current incarnation. Uh, and I don't think it's a hard case to make. And I really am a little bit bamboozled when people carry on about how it's fine and it is exactly as it should be and it's great for the game. It's terrible for the game. It is not exactly as it should be. And uh, it's a gun that really makes for non-dynamic gameplay. Like the amount of times I'm in squads now and people just won't push particular structures or particular areas because you just know there's someone in there with 20 ping and a DBS holding a corner and you may as well just go and throw your iPad in the bin, walk away and have a coffee. Like it's it's just a stupid gun. And if you've watched competitive, you'll know how boring that becomes with this gun. Like there's a lot of people aren't dumb in competitive. They're really, really good at the game. They know what's broken. They know what's overpowered and they run it. Now, I want you to think about this from a really simple place. Graza is a better AKM. I mean, DP28, MG3, you know, Mark 14, SKS. Like, the crate version is a better version for all intents and purposes than the well drop version. And the DBS was a crate weapon, and it got pulled out of the crate and put into a well drop. And it was the crate version of the automatic shotgun. For instance, like the S12K is the auto shotgun that we had forever in the game. And I mean, how annoying is this gun to play against when you've got shit ping like I do? Like, it's just wild. So anyway, the, the S12K is the crate version, is the, the well drop version of an auto shotgun. It comes stock with five rounds. You need an extended AR mag to get that down. It's not terribly accurate and it fires one round at a time. The DBS came along and was put in crates. 14 rounds can fire two rounds instantly in such a way that they are, they feel instant. If you, I'll show you something here. This is actually something that I, I think is well worth showing you. And you probably don't realize this about the DBS. It actually, that's two shots, but the you, you only hear one shot. And this is a problem with the game. Um, I don't know why it does that. It used to do this with the Mark 14, where it'd be full auto and you just hear one single tap. This guy fires twice. And it's why the DBS is so broken. There is no balance here. Like normally, like normally you have to give a little bit up to get something. This is the shotgun that just gives nothing up and gets everything. That's actually two shots. Watch, you'll see one will hit my foot and then he moves up on the recoil and hits my head. Chest area, watch, there's one, two. And then he will start reloading and take the next engagement and he's reloading between engagements. It's like running a Graza, firing 10 rounds, reloading six as you're running around a corner and then firing again. It just keeps doing that. Let me give you a really simple argument here that I think is just so obvious and self-evident. The DBS was in a crate. It was considered strong enough to be a crate weapon. The player base was rubbish at shotguns. They weren't popular. No one used them. So the DBS was considered bad. Along comes Ace Lawrence and various other YouTubers and people are like, holy shit, shotguns are good. Maybe we should be running more shotguns. And uh, they take it out of the crate, and they put it as a well drop, and they change nothing. This is not the first gun to come out of a crate. Uh, the M249 is the most obvious one here, or the AUG. Both the AUG and the M249 got heavily nerfed when they came out of the crate, both in terms of rate of fire and damage. The DBS came out of a crate and stayed exactly as it was, okay? It came out of a crate, it was good enough to go in a crate, and then it just became a world drop weapon. And there is no other example of just a weapon being introduced that is so far beyond 
the other weapons in the game whose class it represents. Like a G36C is a great gun, but it's not 50% better or more than 50% better if we're honest. It's like 100% better than S12K, the DBS. The, the, the G36C is a great gun. The MP5K, when it was introduced, great gun. The P90, great gun. But they all have checks and balances as opposed to the normal guns that they are as world drop weapons. Even the Famous, when it came out as a world drop weapon, it had horrific recoil. And that really off. No, the DBS is a world drop weapon. And it is still in the crate form where it was so strong. This is an S12K that fires two rounds to the one round, comes stocked with 14 rounds instead of five rounds, and has the ability to fire so quickly between those shots. There is no real gap between tap, tap. It's just instant. I'm Bushgro. I hope you enjoy that little rant about the DBS. I don't think enough is being done, and I think it is the most negatively impacting weapon in PUBG Mobile right now. You want to push apartments? Go and watch some of Fates' clips on Twitter. Hell, I'm just calling Fatesy out because Fatesy knows this thing is broken and talks about it. The DBS nerf that's coming up is absolutely lightweight and not worth giving it the time of day. It needs a heavy hand. There's so many ways to do it. You can make it mount a magazine that you have to reload so it can't just constantly reload things. You can increase the time between the double taps. You can lower the amount of ammunition you can carry down to eight so that you can't just keep tapping seven times in a row before you have to even think about reloading. And let's be honest, everyone just keeps reloading in the time anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. There's multiple different ways of doing it. Just need someone to stand up and do it. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.